I got this microwave for my birthday. And I took it apart. This is what I wanted. That's the transformer. That's a step up transformer and I'm going to be making a Lichtenberg device to do some fractal wood burning with. And as I was taking this apart, I found the magnetron, which housed these two magnets. And I took them out of there. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but they're pretty powerful. Maybe I'll hang them up and use them to hold tools or something on the wall, but I don't know. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you a trick how you can use this to magnetize your tools so that they become magnetic. You can pass any metal. Uh, ferrous metal through here and magnetize it. You can pass it through the other side and deactivate the magnet as well. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you how that is done. Okay, I'm going to take one of these round magnets and these screws came off of the uh, microwave as I was taking it apart. I put them all in a jar and I just pulled a few out. And I've got a screwdriver here. And sometimes it's real useful to have it, uh, your screwdriver be magnetized. So it's like an extra hand while you're um, assembling or disassembling, uh, whatever the case might be. So you take your round magnet, take your non-magnetic screwdriver, slide it through the hole. If it doesn't work one way, turn it around, slide it through the hole, and you've got a, you've magnetized your screwdriver. Now you've got a whole extra hand, and you see how useful that is. And I think if you turn it around, slide it through again the other way, you can deactivate the magnetism. So if for whatever reason you don't want it to be magnetic anymore, you just Reverse the magnet and demagnetize it. So there I've magnetized it, see? Pretty cool little trick. So that's one thing I thought of I could do with these. All right, thank you. Slide it through the hole here, pull it back out, and you've got a magnetized. It's all falling apart. Son of a bitch. Cut! Son of a bitch!